Finding journaling difficult to keep doing? Today I'll give you a super fun and easy way to journal every day. I'm Ron Davis and this is Distinctions for Life where I help you get what you really want in life with small changes that make a big difference. If you're trying to get something out of life and need help, you should hit the subscribe button below. I've also created a bunch of articles on my site about distinctions that can make a big difference in your life. You can get them for free by going to distinctionsforlife.tv and clicking the toolbox button. I get how journaling consistently can be hard. For me, there were a few obstacles that I had to overcome when I first started. Not knowing what to say, not being consistent, feeling nothing I had to say was really that important. I wanted to do and keep doing a journal for a very long time. Matter of fact, there was a mention of this in one of the original episodes of DFL 10 years ago. You can follow the link if you haven't seen it. Let's talk about those obstacles and how I've overcome them. The first one was not knowing what to write. Should I just chronologically list what I did during the day? That seemed pretty boring, especially when I had a regular job where every weekday was pretty much the same thing. Then I discovered morning pages. I was reading Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way, and in it she has two practices that help you get past artistic and life blocks, the artist date and morning pages. For her, morning pages is two handwritten pages of anything every morning, and by anything, she means anything. There's only one way to do morning pages wrong, and that is not to do them. Other than that, you just need to keep your pen moving until you fill up two pages in your journal. For me, this meant early on that I was writing a lot of, this is stupid, I don't have any idea what to say, blah, blah, blah. Julia's idea is dumb, and you know why? And then I would start writing something a bit more normal, or I might even be insightful. I hope you see how freeing this is. You don't want to have to worry about how to do journaling right. There is no right, just do it. Which brings us to the next obstacle, being consistent. I think there are two main things that stop us from being consistent low-level fear called procrastination, and busyness. Once you realize there is no wrong way to do morning pages or journaling, that may remove the fear all by itself and you may find it easier to be consistent. If not, you may need to do some disciplines to help, like mark down each day you journal on a calendar to create a positive streak that you want to keep going. If busyness is the problem, things are a little more complicated. You'll have to make time. Time leadership is not in the scope of this video, but there are lots of ways to reorganize your life to make time for journaling. Back when I talked about the Significance Journal, I quoted Tony Robbins saying, if your life is worth living, it's worth recording. My problem was, I didn't feel it was. And that is a very heavy burden to bear. Instead, look at it as a chance to clear stuff out of your brain, to get stuff onto the page that keeps going round and around in your head, to slow down racing thoughts and have them start to make sense, to work out ideas in written form. Journaling is a discipline that all by itself benefits you whether your biographer ever reads it or not. Okay, now I hope you are ready to actually start journaling with morning pages. Let me give you a few tips that will make it cooler. First, writing the date at the beginning is a must in any journal. I like to write the start and stop time at the top and the bottom of the page, and I also write the location when it is somewhere other than my home. This doesn't mean anything in particular, but I like to know how long it takes, and I like to know when I did it somewhere unusual when I'm looking back. I used to have this real problem with doing morning pages where I'd realize that I needed to look something up or something I needed to add to my to-do list. But I found that if I left the journal to do this, I often wouldn't come back for a long time, if ever. So I came up with a system of marks that I put in the margin so that I can look back quickly for those things. If I have something that I need to add to my to-do list, I put a greater than sign next to it. I'll just write the to-do directly into the text or on its own line and then I mark in the margin and just keep on writing. This gives my mind the assurance that I'm not gonna forget it, but it doesn't require me to leave the journal. I also put asterisks next to things that I think are good or important for use later. You can make up any symbols that you need. Just stay in the journal. Then make a legend, guide, table of contents, whatever you want to call it, somewhere in your journal that explains these symbols and what they mean. And therefore leave the first page of any new journal blank for just this reason. Last tip, pick a journal that you want to use. 
I mentioned this in the older video, that I prefer bound book type journals that are college ruled. I'll put a link in the description to my favorite journals. Whew. That was a lot. And like many things, it's just the tip of the iceberg for journaling. How you journal is something that is going to evolve over time. Don't be afraid to try things and see what happens. Question of the day. What practices and tools make journaling easier for you? Share some tips in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want more, click the subscribe button and visit the DFL toolbox link in the description. Oh, by the way, I have openings in my Elite One-on-One -on -one Mentoring Program. If you want personalized help, you can find out more and apply by going to distinctionsforlife.tv slash mentoring. This channel is all about helping you get what you really want in life with small changes that make a big difference. Until next time, take action, see what happens. And then maybe you should journal about it. Journaling about it would be a good idea. Yeah, that'd be great. Or leaving a comment, any of those things.